So I've been a big fan of Beavis and Butthead since I was a kid when it first came out. In 1993, you know, when it pretty much debuted on MTV, up until the final, like, episode dropped in uh, 1997, I was recording it on VHS. And since then, it came back once in 2011 with uh, the revamped uh, uh, series. And then it died out after that. And there was rumblings here and there for years. But now it is finally back. Beavis and Butthead are finally back after all these years with a brand new movie that's going to be streaming exclusively on uh, Paramount+. Plus. And uh, the trailer is out. And I'm going to watch it. And give you my review, my uh, take on it, and see if it's if it lives up to a veteran Beavis and Butthead fan, such as I. And I gotta say, going into this, that I, I am a huge Beavis and Butthead fan, but there is a huge but about this. I'm not gonna eat up anything that is just Beavis and Butthead. You know, um, someone that almost feels like has been raised on Beavis and Butthead. You know, if you've been in a relationship with anybody long enough, you're able to tell them when they're doing wrong or when they're doing right. So uh, I'm not in some kind of uh, honeymoon phase where everything they do is gold or anything like that. And I'm not coming in with a bias right away with that idea, but just knowing that there's been so much time that has passed since anything Beavis and Butthead uh it's it's gonna be an experience to say the least so let's just get right into this and watch the sequel to Beavis and Butthead do America and it is titled Beavis and Butthead do the universe official trailer Paramount Plus so here we go T-10 9 8 7 6 5 4 Three, two, one, zero, ignition. <laughs> the Earth sucks. I think the floor is not working. Look at that number up there on the billboard. There's a two, and then um, some kind of circle. No, dumbass, not that number. That one. 69. <laughs> This show sucks. It's like just these fat people standing there. I am Cornholio! I need TV for my book! Who are you, fart knockers? Amusing, yes, yes. Humorous, yes. Satirical comment on the time. Yes, yes. amusing. Beavis and Butthead do the universe. A new movie streaming June 23rd, exclusively on Paramount+. Plus. Beavis, this changes everything. So there you go. That was the trailer for Beavis and Butthead do the universe. Okay, first up. It's got me a little confused how they get into this type warp. How do they get on the ship? I didn't want to ask that question because do you always hate it whenever you're watching a movie and when someone is asking a question about why this happened knowing that the the movie is going to reveal it later and that's the there's a reason why they're showing it and leaving you in confusion they're wanting you to like keep watching you'll figure it out stop asking me uh you know i'm just like okay well be with some butthead in space and whatever um but i did see a lot of elements of just be with some buttheads every day uh, shenanigans, which is what I'm a fan of. Just their everyday stuff. That, and that's what made Beavis and Butthead great is that it's these two dudes just put in regular, normal, everyday situations and seeing what happens. It's kind of like, you know, the classic Three Stooges when you got Mo, Larry, and Curly 
And, you know, you got these characters and they're going to take on becoming uh, plumbers for the day or icemen or what have you. That's the that's the brilliance of uh, any kind of comedy or show like this is Beavis and Butthead. But if you're trying to make it an element where it's, it's just you're adding all this extra stuff. It kind of turns me off. Now, maybe I'm just the, being very, you know, hard on it. <sighs> But that's the thing that's kind of turning me off on some of the things I've seen. Like I said, there's a lot of things in there that I've seen. Uh, Beavis and Butthead just doing random stuff. Uh, they're in the gymnasium at school and Beavis is flying in the air, I think. Or, uh, you know, that kind of stuff is stuff that I, I really enjoy. Now, maybe, you know, there is a very solid background to adding all this extra stuff like I've seen in there also. Uh, Beavis is riding on a unicorn and the unicorn has Butthead's face. It's kind of gotten me thinking it's turning into a Rick and Morty thing. And I, I really don't want that. I don't know. My overall review of this trailer, at least, has got me going, eh, I, I, I don't know. Now, if you're just the average person... Uh, and you've watched Beavis and Butthead, you basically only know them because of Beavis and Butthead Do America, or maybe I Am the Great Cornholio episode, you're probably just going to really love it. Uh, at least this trailer. I'm hoping the movie is going to be a whole lot better. I will watch the movie. Very soon I'll give you a take on uh, what I thought of it. Just to let you know, I am a huge Beavis and Butthead fan. And to prove that, I do have a podcast that goes over every single episode of Beavis and Butthead. I'm like in the middle of season three right now, or almost towards the end. It's called The Butt Chronicles. So if you want something to listen to while you're driving or whatever, um, I go through every episode, tell you what happens, uh, fun facts, behind the scenes stuff that was happening behind each episode, and my own review of every episode at the end. So. If you got time to kill, you're, you know, taking a road trip somewhere. You want something to listen to besides true crime. All right, guys, that's it. I'm DJ Glowing Ice. See you later.